Hello guys, I know. I know, I know. <laughs> I know I hadn't recorded in a week. I know last week you probably was wondering. Where is Trini? Why? Why? Where's the video? It's not up. The fuck? I know. That is because I had so much thing going on last week. I forgot I had a YouTube channel. I know. Don't kill me. I know I said. Yeah. Yeah. You. You said. I know. Don't you dare, Trini, put the clip. I'm sorry, but I can't deal with the hypocrisy. Two weeks ago, you said, You know the drill, you know, you know how it is. I am consistent. Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. I know I said that consistency is key, but guys, I'm human. I'm only human. When I bleed, when I fall down. Oh, oh. So there's so much I can do, but I'm back. I'm back with a new video, guys. The sun is glowing on my face. I just took a shower and I thought it was time for me to reveal to my public things about me. I had previously wanted to do like a 50. I know 50 is too much. 50 things about me, but I, I, yeah, there's no way I'm editing that. Smart, good call. I'm instead gonna do 15 things about me. 15 random things about me that you may or may not know depending on who's watching you know let's get started random fact number one i was born late yes i was supposed to be born in december 2001 but I was so comfy inside, so it took me like three weeks to be born. My mom was so tired of me. So yeah, I was born in January. Number two, hence why my birthday is on the 11th of January of 2002, rather than sometime in December, the year before. Number three, I lived in Equatorial Guinea, the country in West Africa I will insert now let's just put a picture after this. Thank you. Um, it's a country in West Africa and that's where my mom is from. And not a lot of people know about it because it's so tiny. And I was there for like four years of my life. Number five. Sorry guys, it's actually four, but I will realize eventually. I was born in Spain. My first language was Spanish. I am currently losing the ability of speaking it nonetheless that was my first language that's everything i knew since i was a baby till i came to london number six my parents were about to call me dorothy i know i know and yo not saying there's anything bad with being called dorothy it's a great name it's just i can't imagine myself being named dorothy it's because my my dad's mother his name was Dorothy. That's why they were like, hmm. And then my mom was like, no. But then my auntie had the final say on my name because my name's Trinidad. She's called Trinidad. For whatever reason, my parents were okay with that. So that's why my name's Trinidad instead of Dorothy. I just realized um, I must have said number six for the last one when it's actually number five. So this is number six. Six fact is. Last year, I dislocated my shoulder three times in the same week. Um, this happened as I was running up the stairs of my sixth form because I was late for my art class and I fell down the stairs while going up. Yeah, and I dislocated my shoulder the first time and then the second time it happened at my house because I thought I was fine, but I wasn't fine. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. And I stretched and it dislocated twice. Number seven, I have an unhealthy relationship with Hamilton, the musical. I know pretty much every song in the soundtrack. I know all the lyrics and I know the exact order, forwards and backwards of the musical. Number eight. Eight is my favorite number. Since I was a child, I was like, hmm, eight. Yeah, that's that. Yeah. Fact number nine. I'm 
Left-handed. I've always been left-handed. When I was younger, my dad tried to make me learn how to write with my right hand because in Nigeria, it's a bit of a weird thing to be left-handed. And it turns out that when I was trying to write with my right hand, I was writing backwards. That makes no sense, but that's how I processed it when I was five years old and my dad was like, no, the fuck, you don't write with your left. But then he concluded to accept me for who I am and love me regardless. Number 10. I can write Arabic, but I can't speak it or understand. I learned it last this year. I learned it this year and I think I learned it so quick, probably because of the fact that in Arabic, obviously write backwards and I already had experience with writing backwards thanks to my dad thanks dad he doesn't even watch your videos number 11 my favorite song is we by Jeremy if you know me you know this I would play the song but I don't want to get copyrighted I'm just a small YouTube channel uh, it's my favorite song for the randomness reason I watched a video on Instagram once, the song was playing in the background, and since then, it's been my favorite song. Yes, I'm recording my YouTube video, but come in. Um, no. Oh. Where was I? Fact number 12. I really enjoy lines and clothing. I must have mentioned this for my room tour. I really like clothes that have lines, like stripes and everything i want to have separate wardrobe at some point in my life where all the clothing is just stripes and like lines fact number 13 i'm a capricorn obviously because i was born in january i mean you don't necessarily have to be a capricorn if you were born in january but i am a capricorn the best sign in the astrology world yes don't add me it's the truth fact number 14 back in primary good old days i used to be the tallest in my class i'm not really that tall right now i used to be the tallest kid and it was very uncomfy but yeah and finally and not by any means the least important fact i hate pineapple avocado papaya and coconut those fruits <laughs> that's it for today guys this is the end of my video what was that <laughs> you know like subscribe all of that jazz sayonara